Monitoring 57 school buses in the morning has its challenges. Rich Paoli spent a lot of time looking for an efficient way to get it done at North Point High School. I, I've been out there for eight years trying to manage this and run traffic patterns and all that other stuff and we just, I just said, you know, there's got to be a better way and I came to him and he had the know-how and the programming skills so we kind of collaborated together and, and put it together. Meet Austin Fisher, a member of North Point High School's class of 2013. Austin created the bus tracker app used by the school staff. It can be downloaded to any smartphone and is very easy to use. When a bus pulls into the lot, a staff member enters the number and hits the plus sign. The bus number is recorded along with the time. Once finished, the user can export the information in an Excel file to any email address. The program is web-based, which means it can be used on any iPhone, BlackBerry, or other smartphone. The bus tracker app is a big hit with staff. It's been very helpful. One, it, it absolutely cuts down on the time to prepare that a bus coordinator or anyone who's uh, tracking buses out there has in the morning time. I can just pull out my phone, you know, as I have my phone with me. So very convenient. Going paperless is, is definitely convenient for everyone. If we've repeated a number, it'll tell us. If we have a substitute bus, we can put in an asterisk and the number of the bus that it is being substituted for. It's uh, tremendously easy. I'm using it. <laughs> the Bus Tracker app is actually created from another app Austin made. Mr. Fisher designed an app that creates apps for his senior year engineering project. The idea was simple, but making it happen wasn't easy. Thinking in the beginning was really difficult, like thinking of the process and how to do, how to do everything. But then once I got settled in and I knew what I was doing, it was, it was more just tedious work, like program, just programming it and adding more and more features. All the students love the process. He took it upon himself to kind of take on the, the programming application side of it. It all deals with engineering because it deals with, you know, efficiency, making life a little bit easier in that instance. So he kind of picked his own side before maybe some of the other students did. Austin credits his teachers at North Point for teaching him the engineering, science, and math concepts needed to make the app. He has also taken computer programming classes and business classes outside of school. As for Austin's drive, it comes from a desire to create he has had all his life. I've always liked creating things, like ever since I was little, I always liked like, building things. Like I, I like Legos, I like drawing, I liked making little knickknacks out of random parts. So I always been like no, inventing, like I, I wanted to be an inventor when I was little. Entrepreneur would also be an apt term to describe Austin. He published the app that makes apps to the Windows Phone Marketplace and has made a considerable amount of money from something that costs just a dollar. Austin has created other apps, including one that allows people to draw art together from multiple computers in the same room. He has several other apps in development. Austin started his own company, Fisher Developing, and enjoys making something that makes people's lives easier. When I think of an app, I make sure that it can apply to a large audience of people. So, first of all, it'll help a lot of people, but also it'll actually be marketable. It'll actually, you know, bring in revenue. He's made a considerable amount of money for, for his age, so... I'd probably like to learn a little bit of that business savvy myself from him. The next step for the talented Mr. Fisher is to College Park. He will attend the University of Maryland on a full scholarship. It's no mystery what Austin will major in, but he has made a savvy choice as to what area. Well, it's actually electrical engineering, so it's not like specifically programming, because I feel like I can learn programming by myself. Like That's what I've done so far. So, and electrical engineering is more something I can't really do by myself. I really need teachers and help. It was four years ago when Austin walked into North Point High School as a freshman and saw this sign in the main hallway. He didn't think much of it at the time. Today, he has a greater appreciation for the slogan and the school it hangs in. I didn't think of it as for, at first, but now that I've gone through the four years, I realize that it's really prepared me for the real world. Some of the teachers have been hard on us, but it really is just to, to help us in the future. I really like North Point and all my friends and teachers and all that stuff, so it's going to be sad leaving them, but it's, it's cool to go on to uh, Maryland and learn new things. Have my own big business like Bill Gates, Microsoft, that would be nice.